All right, guys, so today we are uh, going to do kind of a, I want to say my review, I guess, my review of the Poco M3 and the Poco phone. And that's, that's this guy right here. And I've had a chance now to be using this for probably close to just over a month now. So I figured that was enough time for me to be able to give you kind of my thoughts on this phone. And I have to say, if you're looking for a budget phone, that's a budget smartphone, could be for yourself, could be as a secondary phone, could be for like your kids or your grandparents or something like that. Uh, someone that says, I don't need the newest and greatest flagship phone with the most power that's out there. This, this could be like a really, really good option. So we're gonna go through a few things. We're not gonna go through the whole thing in detail, but a few things just so you guys can get, a, a, get an idea of what my thoughts are after using this for just over a month. Okay, my friends, so here it is. This is, this is the Poco, Poco M3. And I got mine in yellow. This is the 128 gig version. Um, you can save a little bit of money if you go to the 64 gig version, of course. Plenty of space. I do really like the size of this. Uh, the I think it's 6.5 or something like that. I can't remember the exact size of it, but it's really nice. It feels really good in the hands. It does come with this plastic uh, clear case for it, which I was actually quite surprised at how well it did. Uh, it fits on there well. It's I've dropped it, dropped it on like carpet and that, but it works, works really good. No, zero complaints at all. So the fact that it actually comes with a little case, that's a huge, huge perk for sure. So we have a few things. So we're just gonna make sure this is on right now. Uh, fingerprint scanner also, fingerprint scanner is right over here. I've got it set up for my two index fingers. The very first time, like all devices, once it reboots, uh, has to have your password, but on and off. So if I try to open this with a different finger, of course, it's not gonna work, but index finger. It seems very fast and efficient. I have no complaints with it. It seems really accurate. I do like the fact that they put it into the like uh, power button. Again, it works, works great. It actually is fairly responsive. I wasn't expecting to, it to be near as responsive as this is. You can see moving back and forth. Like it moves really good. Switching between scrolling up and down inside here. No issues at all. Coming from the top to the bottom. Every, everything just kind of works really well. And again, for someone that's not used to Android and uses primarily uh, iOS, so iPhones, it wasn't very hard for me to figure out where everything was on here. I've downloaded a couple apps, went to the Google Play Store. That was pretty much flawless. Yeah, and everything just kind of functions the way, the way you kind of would think it should work. A few things just to kind of talk about. Uh, speed. So number one here, uh, like I said, processor wise, I was going to run some benchmark tests for you guys just to show you that, but let's, let's just call it as it is. This is not a flagship device. So is it going to benchmark very well? Eh, it didn't benchmark great. I did run Geekbench on it and I put it up against uh, like the current iPhone and I was like, oh yeah. And that was one of the very first things I did. And it kind of put a little negative taste in my mouth. And I was like, oh, but that's just that's just scores. And that's really great for all of us spec lovers. But really, it's about usability, right? So it's, again, this is budget phone. This is 150-ish US, depending on which one you get, and depending on when you kind of buy it. So that, that's something to kind of be aware of as well. So a few things on here. Just to see it, we do have, like I said, we have the speed on here. So if you're connected to your Wi-Fi or whatever it is here, I'm connected to my Wi-Fi right now. So just to kind of get a speed test of the network and how fast this thing can move, I was getting the exact same speeds as I got from my iPhone. So it's coming in at full speeds and we can see here, we'll just pop up the speed test. All right, so here's a speed test right here. You can see connecting. There she kind of pops up there. And usually in this room, this is about the speeds I get, even on my iPhone comes in around here. In the other room, I was getting between 125 and 150, but it all depends on where I am in the house. So it's, it's again, dead on. The, the internal Wi-Fi here should have no issues with your speeds. That's what my upload is. So just, I accept what it is, right? So 
Speed wise, actually really good. Network wise does good. This isn't a 5G phone, so just realize that. But even with cellular data, I was connecting fine. I actually just moved my SIM card in it for a couple of days just to try it out. And again, very happy. Just remember these speeds though, just to just for some information down the road. So we're looking at about 70 down and about 15 to 20 up. Clearing information, of course, everything just, I don't know, it's just, everything just works really well. I was, I'm very, very happy with it. Um, the other thing inside here, just so you guys can see, because a lot of people may buy this phone, and as we can see, just moving around it, like everything, everything's very quick. Again, no issues at all with that. I think anybody that buys a $150 phone is going to get this and just be super pleased. I had no problems, again, using this for the last month. And if this would have been my daily driver for 90% of the things that I needed to do, zero issues at all. I would be completely fine with it. Um, games, games may be an issue for some, right? Can, can it play games? Well, it's not gonna play the probably highest end games and at full. So we've got a few games here. So here's Asphalt 8. I'll just bring it up here on the screen so you guys can kind of see it. Does it run? Yeah, for sure, it runs fine, right? Race now. Loads up good. Screen resolution is super good. The only thing I would have loved to have seen is it be a little brighter. So when you're in a really, really bright environment, could it have been a bit brighter? Yeah. The speakers on both sides, which is awesome, right? So I think that works really good. You guys can see it here, All right? It's a tilt game, but the responsiveness on it, you guys can see this, right? is like fantastic. Oops. But it looks good, visuals look good. Zero complaints, the sound is awesome on it. And in regards to even like sound, I've connected over the last month a bunch of different Bluetooth headphones just to see how they would react or connect. Perfect. Right? Again, zero issues at all. And yeah, you can, you can play games like this. No concerns whatsoever. You know? That's right, I'm, I'm pretty much a rock star at this game. Untrue. All right, so that's 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 that game. Does it run good? Yeah, it runs. It runs very good. You know, no issues at all running games like that. And it's got a groovy track to it. What more do you want, right? A groovy track. Uh, games like that, Asphalt Nine, uh, Need for Speed, they all run very similar to that. Again, no issues. Here's one that probably everybody kind of wants to see if it runs, and uh, PUBG. So, it's got this game boost enabled, which I'm not 100% sure what it means, but it comes up. You guys, again, should be able to see this. I'll just tilt my screen a little bit to see if it's runnable. Uh, I'm not a person that plays this kind of game, so just realize. I'm just going to show you a little bit, and I'm going to suck at it. Yes? Uh-huh. From start to finish, downloading a little update, it looks like. You guys are seeing this kind of in real time. So, select a resource to download. Uh... We're just going with the small one, okay? Low spec version, just to get the more more playability, right? But the the key is is even at low spec on a screen this size does it matter, right? You probably want more more frames per second than anything. And again, I'm just going to show you it running for you know the first 20 30 seconds or so. We're not going to go in depth of it. You'll be able to get an idea how it runs and what it looks like. All right, so I'm going to log in. Yeah, accept. And again, I love the sound. Actually, the sound that comes out of this is surprisingly good. Especially with, when you're holding it in this way, you have right and left speakers. So, they come up from the tops here. Or sorry, the bottoms, you can see here. There's a speaker down here, and a speaker up here. So, actually, really nice sound. So even if you cover one side, it's good. You guys can hear that, right? Yeah, zero complaints with the sound. I think we're on our way. I think it's happening. All right, 
Here we go. Skip this, don't care. Yeah. I'll be naked guy. It's good. But you can see this. Look, it runs. You guys can see that, right? Look, it runs very smooth. Crouching here. Good. Right? Come on now. Nothing wrong with that. Yeah, I'd say, I'd say that's fully playable. You guys. Match starts in 21 seconds. We're all just running around. Trying to figure out what's going on. But yeah, like it's with the with the low textures, I'd say that's fine. Here we are. Tap to jump. Jump. There we go. And again, you guys can see it here. Try to move. You know, we die. A little crotch shot there, right? And again, the audio is really good. Yeah, zero complaints with this. I'll hit the ground here. Arrow shooting. There it is. But yeah, I'd say you guys should be able to play this without concern on this. Will it be smoother on a you know a newer sh phone? Sure. Would it be able to probably be able to access the HD textures? Sure. Do I care? Not really. Hundred fifty dollars. I need a you're, weapon. You're you're up you're up off to the you're off to the races. I need a weapon. Somebody needs a weapon. I'm gonna land probably right there. Yeah, see? And that runs super smooth, you guys can see that. I just got little punchy punchies. All right, you guys, you guys get the idea. All right, so the last one that I kind of wanted to show you because speeds here is good, um, plenty of storage, the screen looks great. The only thing, like I said, that I wish would be it was a little tiny bit brighter, but not a big deal. You know, you have the ability to put in uh, multiple SIM cards, uh, external like mini or SD card on there, um, micro SD card, I believe it is. Um, and, and last thing is the camera. So the camera itself, you, it has three cameras. Now just realize that this isn't like a zoom wide and ultra wide. Um, it's like a macro, you're wide and uh, the portrait style, I believe it is, right? But they all kind of work together. So I've actually taken some photos, but you do have normal photo mode, which has an AI mode, which will kind of determine what it thinks. An HDR mode, you have of course a lot of these like beauty modes. If you want to use beauty stuff, it's up to you. If you go to pro mode inside here, and this is just default, you have the ability to change your uh, like exposure settings if you want 48 megapixel or not. If not, it shoots 12. Uh, filters, if you want to shoot raw. And if you come all the way over here, for instance, you have a more which does night, short videos, panoramas, time-lapse, slow motion documents, right? And if you edit, you can decide kind of what you want to put on here. You'll notice I actually have the 48 on here because I like using it. Now, uh, we'll actually bring my computer up here. So I'm just going to put this over here because I've taken some photos. So we'll just bring this up here, turn this on, bring up my computer here hopefully you guys can see that there there it is sort of right there okay you guys can see this if you bring up my photos these were photos here that I actually took with this this camera and I was like that's all right nothing wrong with that so a few things just to start off with uh, number one this is night mode and I'll bring this bigger so you guys can see it this is night mode on it and it did a really good job even if you like zoom in here a little bit to full res you can see what it's doing, but it's nice and sharp. It's It's got the shadows kind of kicked in. Again, all of this off of, you know, $150 phone. So that's really good. And if you compare it to, um, I think the normal one. So this was, yeah, this was normal here. You can see the shadows in this one. 
comparatively so if you look at the shadows especially like in this area or where the car is or even the like the bloom around the lights and you kind of go back to this it's just so much sharper inside this area and in here and, and again even the bloom around the lights isn't as bad where it has to do all that little processing so night mode not bad at all it actually did a pretty pretty decent job of it um uh in regards to let's say you know 48 megapixels so if we actually bring this up here this one here you see 6000 by 8000 this is the 48 megapixel now of course it doesn't shoot it in like a night mode but there it is and if you zoom in you can like really zoom in this is of course shooting 48 megapixels at night so not a great one to look at i do have a better one here to kind of show you guys 48 megapixels at night and i think it was yeah it was this one it was one of these here so this one here uh i'll go back so this one over here just so you guys can see it this one here was shot and this is a standard one shot 12 megapixels um actually this one is the raw 12 megapixels and you can kind of go in, and if we zoom in here you can see how fuzzy that is right kind of fuzzy and if we go to the 48 megapixel one which is this one 8000 by 6000 you see how sharp that is there so it is I'm not exactly sure if it's true 48 megapixels but you can definitely see like there's a lot more going on there when you compare those two and this is the raw 12 right here versus the 48 megapixel like there's a big difference so it's definitely it's definitely doing something for sure uh gps works on it you can see where it's tracking me that's that's all good so you do get a raw mode uh in there as well so if you want to do some extra color grading is it helpful yeah it definitely helps you bring out some shadows and things like that uh the other thing too that we shot because we were were playing around with it was we were outdoors and uh this is using i'll again i'll bring that up here this is using i believe uh this one may be the front camera so image quality again i'm not going to say it's that bad right right there this is using the rear camera with the portrait mode and the portrait mode does surprisingly good for again the the cost of this phone so right here portrait mode you get that nice blurry background and the front is nice and sharp 12 megapixels no no complaints over that at all this is actually portrait mode here on the front camera so i was actually surprised that you got such a nice and look at the look at the detail right and that's the front camera so that's that's this camera here that's shooting that and look at the like the edges the edges are doing not bad at all like the edging on here pretty good so that's that's also really good i was quite pleased with that um in regards to video uh i will put some video clips up here now this is a video clip right here that and you guys will be able to see it here this is using the again uh front facing camera now the one thing to realize is there is no image stabilizer on this so it does have a bit of a shake now the one thing that i did notice is that because it does shoot fairly wide, I ran a fair bit of this through like an image stabilizer and it actually helped. Well, it definitely helped it for sure. Right. But that, that doesn't look, that doesn't look too bad. You guys can hear it. Image quality wise is actually pretty good. And then the actual front facing for video as well. So it is only 1080p. Um, and then the, and that's on both front and rear cameras. But yeah, see, that looks good too. That's color is pretty good it's a little cool but quality is good you get a nice little little bit of blur in the background yeah i you know what again this is a 150 dollar us uh smartphone so you get a really nice size screen you get a very responsive system as far as i can see uh really nice speakers it's capable of playing at least some games uh is it going to play all the future games coming out i don't know does it play it at full high res well no but it's it's still a good enough it can't you can't really put it up against a flagship phone that's not really fair of it um uh, does it shoot video yep stabilized no that's a little bit of a shortcoming 4k no um, but the front and rear cameras actually produce very well for video 
just realized it's not stabilized, so it's gonna have a bit of a shake to it. But photo-wise, very impressive actually. The 48 megapixel, when you turn that feature on, actually pretty good, not bad at all. Can shoot in RAW, which is great. The night mode was surprising. I was actually quite pleased with the night mode. And the portrait mode, really good. Uh, it, it was hard to really see where like a, an iPhone 10 or 11 or maybe even a 12, 12 is probably one of the kind of better, but it's again, $150. You know what? I, I'm super happy. This is, this is actually a really, really great phone. I don't think for the price, anybody who buys this will complain at all. I think, you know, fit and finish of it is really good. Like I said, I actually plugged a whole bunch of different Bluetooth headphones and stuff into it. It connected, no problems, got great specs. It's getting updates. You know, if you got $150, that's your budget. You got $150 to $200 budget for a smartphone. This is, this is a win. You're gonna, you're gonna be very happy with your purchase. Now, of course, it's not flagship, but if you want closer to flagship, Poco has some other phones and, and maybe down the road, we'll be able to get a hand on those. To, to see how they they perform. All right, guys, I'm gonna leave you there. Uh, this is this is kind of my thoughts on this one after using it for for just over a month. Very very good. Yeah, one of my first um, real dives into Android in like forever. All right, my friends, uh, like, comment, share, subscribe, hit that little notification bell. Let me know if there's any other like budget phones, budget Android phones, budget, right? Not because I'm buying these a lot of times, some of these I'm buying with my own money. So it, it hurts a little bit of the pocket, but, but if you, if you're interested, let me know, I'll see what I can do. And, uh, I'm going to leave you guys there. I will put links down below to this, the Poco, Poco M3. Very cool. And we will see you guys, uh, next video. Later, my friends.